Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a Spearman rank correlation. Uh, in a previous video, I demonstrated how to do a Pearson correlation, which is appropriate when your data are scored on an interval or ratio scale. Uh, However, um, if your data are rank ordered or measured on an ordinal scale, then you are left with uh, you are left with not being able to do a Pearson correlation because a Pearson correlation assumes uh, that your data are measured on a more informative basis, which is the interval ratio scale. Now, in this case, uh, the uh, variable that I'm going to examine, the uh, two variables that I'm going to examine are rank ordered. And one of them is education. Uh, and this data says bank loan from, um, from the SPSS sample, da uh, sample data that you can get. Uh, and um, ED, or education, uh, I'll look at the variable view, and it's... Um, it's got a label and it's telling me its level of education and it goes from did not complete high school, high school degree, some college, college degree and post undergraduate degree. So this is the rank ordering of, of um, this is a variable that's uh, a rank ordered ordinal variable. Uh, so this suggests to me that I should be doing a Pearson correlation uh, because my other variable is also ordinal uh, scaled. And what I've done is I've made an income category variable from the income variable. I would never suggest that somebody actually does this um, because you're losing information by doing so. But in this case, what I, just to do this uh, Spearman correlation, I've created an income category variable which is uh, goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from very low to wealthy. Uh, so, so very low, low, medium, high, very high, wealthy. I don't think there's perfect, um, it's not the ideal representation because basically what I did was zero to $25,000 uh, a year, household is very low, um, two is 26000 to 50, medium 51 to 75, high 76 to 100, wealth very high 101 to 125, and then anything over about, uh, more than $126,000 or more is considered wealthy. Uh, I just did that in the first go. I think I would change things if I wanted to make it a bit more accurate and more reflective of, of reality. But for the sake of demonstrating a Pearson correlation, this is uh, this is the kind of data you frequently are presented with. People measure household income, uh, but they only measure it in a in a rank ordered way rather than a fully informative way of measuring uh, exactly how much people earned or how much they're reporting that they earned for the for the year. They just have category bands uh, from very low to me, uh, to very wealthy or they'll just say 0 to 25, 25 to 50 and people will select which one uh, best represents them. So if you wanted to examine the association between years of association, uh, years of education rather, uh, which is uh, basically a rank ordered type of variable, ordinal variable, uh, categorized across levels of diploma and, and degrees and then income category you have to use a Spearman rank correlation arguably and I'm going to show you how to do that you go into analyze then you go into correlate and then you go into bivariate and then you put the variable you're interested in so we've got um, level of education Actually, the, it's got the right symbol. Income category has actually got the nominal variable. And actually, let me change that and see if it does it uh, automatically. So I'm going to change that to ordinal. And I'll save that. All right, so analyze, uh, correlate, bivariate, got level of education and then income category. Now the default in, in SPSS is to have a correlation coefficient estimated that's a Pearson correlation. I don't want the Pearson correlation in this case, I want the Spearman correlation. Alright, and I'm going to click OK. And here is the correlation uh, presented. Level of education uh, is increases as level of education increases across the ordinal categories. Uh, income also increases, but it's not a very strong correlation. It's only 0.21. Uh, in the previous video where I did Pearson correlation, the correlation between A, 